the garage, my name's Matt. Um, so this is just a quick update video. I say quick, it's going to be probably 10 minutes. Um, so there's been a hiatus over the last couple of months on videos. I am sorry, I know there's a lot of people actually kind of like this stuff. So I've just got a few things here that I'm just going to quickly run through of stuff that's coming very soon. You might have seen that the electronic supercharger video ran part 2, 1A, whatever. So we've got that turbo to pull apart, we're going to do a separate video on just how these things work and how to pull them apart etc etc. Um, I've got some little gear boxes where that will eventually become part of this. So we've got loads of gears and gear boxes and stuff to play with so I can manufacture something like that. There's the manifold to test all these electric doodars here. You'll see that. Uh, in this box we've got an AM6 engine. Um, I'm going to put this back together and then pull it apart so you can see it pull it apart and then put it back together again. Um, we've got a Briggs and Stratton engine that sat down in the corner. The Briggs and Stratton engine is to I should sit down really. The Briggs and Stratton engine is to um, or is part of a new series that I'm doing which is engine 101. Um, I've got a new whiteboard, there should be a picture now. Um, so we're going to go through, uh, there's gonna be a series, quite a long series starting with the very very basics up to some of the quite complicated graphs and blah 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 and all that rest of it. So yeah there's a lot kind of a lot going on. The other thing is the R5 is still in the pipeline. I've got to do some blasting etc on the frame we'll get all that sorted out then we'll bring that in here um, so I can actually do the rebuild. Um, the engine after blasting it, uh, wet blasting it, I kind of didn't like that idea at all. So that is to be brought into here and then on this bench we are going to strip it down completely so I can see if there's anything wrong inside but more importantly see if oil or water got in. And we're going to sandblast each individual separate casing, spray them and put them all back together in here and put the back back together. So that is all happening pretty soon. So uh, yeah, lots to come. Cheers for the views, subscriptions, etc. And uh, we'll see you in a bit.